<laughs> What's up everyone? It's me Drew Manny back and I'm doing another cooking video because we all need delicious keto recipes in our lives, right? Especially when we have to compete against fast food places and today we're competing against Taco Bell's Mexican pizza, right? Their Mexican pizza has 540 calories and 47 grams of carbohydrates and our keto version of this is only gonna have nine grams of carbohydrates. It's gonna be delicious, it's easy to make, and what else? It's gonna be delicious. Did I say that already? It's gonna be even more delicious now because I said it twice. Does that make sense? Because if you say it twice, then it means it's even more delicious. If I say three deliciouses, then it's even more delicious. So, here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need three-fourths cup of almond flour, one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, two ounces of cream cheese, three scoops of Complete Wellness unflavored MCT oil powder, one egg, one half teaspoon of Redmond's Real Salt, and one half teaspoon of garlic powder. For the toppings, you're gonna need one cup of low-carb marinara sauce, three-fourths cup of shredded mozzarella, eight ounces of cooked ground beef, one half tablespoon of taco seasoning, one half cup pico de gallo, one fourth cup sliced black olives, one cup of shredded lettuce, eight tablespoons of guac, and eight tablespoons of sour cream. Boom. And then from there, here's your instructions. You wanna preheat the oven, turn it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then in a large bowl, you're gonna melt the shredded cheese and cream cheese in the microwave in 30 second intervals until it's all melted. Mix well. Then you're gonna add the egg and beat together. Once it's combined, you're gonna add almond flour, the MCT oil powder, and the seasonings. Then you're gonna spray your hands with nonstick cooking spray, and you're gonna knead the dough until it's well combined. Place dough on parchment paper, placing another layer of parchment paper on top, using a rolling pin to roll out the dough into a round shape about one half inch thick. Then you're gonna poke holes in the crust with a fork, and you're gonna bake in the oven for seven to 10 minutes until it's lightly brown and cooked all the way through. Then you're gonna to top your pizza with low carb marinara sauce, sprinkle it with cheese, toss in the ground beef with taco seasoning, place on the pizza followed by olives and pico de gallo. Then you're gonna place back in the oven and cook for about five to seven minutes or until the cheese is all melted. Allow to cool for a few minutes before cutting. Then you're gonna sprinkle with shredded lettuce and top each slice with one tablespoon of guac and one tablespoon of sour cream. Then all you have to do is just enjoy it. And there you have it, you guys. Enjoy. Each slice has only nine grams of net carbs and the pizza's delicious, you guys, and now you don't have to go out to get fast food. You can make it at home, it tastes better, it's better for you, and you can stay on the keto diet. Uh, enjoy this recipe, feel free to share it with friends and family that might want to uh, look for keto alternatives, and let me know what you think about it. We'll see you guys on the next video.